Hey guys, Balkan Arcade here and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to do cost estimation in Revit. Now what's great about Revit is it comes with these tools where you can basically do all cost estimation and it simplifies everything for you and once you set up these sh schedules you don't really have to change anything up, you can just continue working on your building and the actual cost estimation will update according to your work. But before we get started, I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial, it helps me out a lot. And if you haven't already, I suggest you subscribe because I make videos like this every day. Okay, so here I am. This is a project that I've used last week. This is just some auto repair shop and it's quite simple. It has only a few walls, a roof, some windows and doors. So it's quite simple and I think it would be great for doing this project. Now for cost estimation, we need to be creating... A, we need to be creating a schedule. So here you have the schedule and quantities. So you can do here go just right click and go new or you can go to the view tab and find here on the create tab this schedules drop menu open it up and now here you have this uh, schedules quantities and you also have this material takeoff. Now you might have seen some people using material takeoff to do their cost estimation now the reason why I don't prefer doing it this way is because this basically means that Revit is taking the amount of material that's used and then you add the cost to that material and then it calculates. And that's great because maybe your walls and roofs perhaps have the same material so it's a bit easier to calculate but the problem is the cost of labor for doing this to basically adding that material to wall and adding that material to the roof might be a lot different. So what I like to do is I like to use basically the cost of a square foot or square meter of a either a wall or a roof or do just basically elements like doors and windows by one element or by one unit and then the cost of that. So when you calculate for the wall you calculate the cost of the material plus the cost of the labor and then you add that value as the cost of one square foot or meter of this wall. So that's why I'm going to be using this schedules and quantities. So I'm just going to open it up and perhaps for the first thing let's do the walls. So here make sure that you're on the architecture here in this drop menu and then just search for walls and here we have walls I'm just going to select them and you automatically get this name wall schedule which is okay and here for the phase I'm going to leave it at phase new construction so I'm just going to go okay and now you have some properties and sets up to do so here first thing I like to do is I like to add area so add that then I'm going to add cost now this is cost per wall type that's not necessarily cost of everything altogether so we need to be creating a new parameter later on and this is family and type that's certainly necessary so let's go first I'm going to set up this family and type then area then cost and then I'm going to be creating a new calculated parameter which will be area times cost to get the whole wall or all the walls for this so I'm just going to call this total wall total wall cost and then for the discipline I'm going to leave it at common and for the type I'm just going to go here to currency and the formula will be area okay so you need to select it there times and then here cost okay and then you have to divide all of this by one and the reason you need to do this because area is in square meters or feet and the cost is not so it kind of messes it up if you don't add this divided by one to equal that out. So I'm just going to go here OK and then just here for this I'm going to sort it by family and name, add a header and a blank line and let's add the grand totals and for formatting for total wall cost I'm going to make sure that it calculates totals and it aligns everything on the right side. So I'm just going to go OK and you get something that looks like this. Now as you can see this is not completed and the reason is we don't really have any costs added to this project. So I'm going to go here into 3D and first I'm going to set the units for 
the cost. So I'm just going to type in UN and change this currency from this to symbol. I'm going to be using euros because that's what they use in Europe and I'm from Europe so you can use dollars of course. So I'm going to leave it at that, just hit OK and now I'm going to select one of these walls. Now this is the exterior wall so I'm going to go here to edit type, scroll down a bit and here you have cost. Now this is actually cost by square meter or basically by unit of measuring the area of the wall and I'm measuring in square meters so this will be square meter and in euros. So basically how much euros for a square meter of wall and for this you will need to calculate so search for how much the material costs and how much will be the labor costs and then you calculate those two numbers so you add them up and let's say we get a hundred euros so I'm just going to go here apply and then for the second type of wall that's this interior wall I have I'm going to go to edit type and let's say this is a bit cheaper wall because it's smaller so I'm going to say this is seven euros per square meter. And now if I go here down to schedules, open this up, wall schedule, and here we have the totals for this building. So it added up all of these walls, we have the cost of each type of wall, and here we have the grand totals. And this is, the total is around 35,000 euros. So I'm going to go back into 3D, and let's say we want to do the roof as well. So I'm going to go here to uh, view, schedules, open it up, schedule quantities, now you scroll down, find roofs, select that, go OK, and again we're going to be using the area, family and type, just make sure this is up, and let's add the cost. OK, move this down, and let's add our own parameter, total cost, and let's make sure that this is in currency and the formula will be area by cost divided by one again. Okay, just go here to sorting and grouping and I like to sort everything by family name, add this, add grand totals, formatting and for cost I like to align it to the right just to see it a bit better and make sure that you calculate totals. So you go OK and this is what we get and we only have one roof so this is the only thing we get and I'm going to go here in 3D, select the roof, go into edit type and let's add the cost of this roof and let's say it costs, I don't know, 150 per square meter, go OK and now if we go here to wall, oops, roof schedule, we get this, the total is 43,000 euros that seems quite expensive. Now I'm not really an expert on any cost estimation so please don't cringe at my values that I add for cost. But anyway let's go back to the 3D and now we're going to be calculating doors and windows and you can do this in one schedule which is great because you don't have to have a separate for doors and windows. So I'm just going to go here to schedules new schedule and quantities and I'm not going to select anything I'm just going to go OK and here I'm going to select family and type and then I'm going to select cost and that's it so I'm going to go here to sort, sorting and groups add header and blank line grand totals and for formatting the cost I want to have calculate totals and alignment to the right so just go OK and you get something that looks like this. Now here we need to add all the values for cost for each of our windows and doors. So I'm going to go back into 3D and let's select this garage door for example, go into edit type and let's say this unit costs, I don't know, like 300 euros. Oops, here's the cost. OK, 300 euros, go OK. Let's say this door costs, I don't know, 120. So go here, cost 120, is that the cost? Yes it is, apply. Let's say this window costs, let's make this smaller. Let's say it's, I don't know, 100, go apply, okay. Then I'm going to go just to a level one to select this, no, this is a ceiling plan. 
level one and select one of these smaller doors and add their costs and let's say they are 80 euros apply then we have these windows added type okay we already have the cost of the, them their cost and then let's do these back windows so let's say these are I don't know 80 and these smaller ones are like 40 and again I'm just doing these approximate numbers they don't really mean anything but anyway so we added all of these values to the project so let's just go to this category and over here as you can see we have all of our doors that we use these are just these overhead rolling doors they're 300 these are 40 these are 100 and the total is a bit under 2000 euros so that's how you basically calculate all the costs of your building in Revit. So thank you for watching, please subscribe, like and share this video and if you have any questions, comments or suggestions, leave them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.